Hello and welcome to this channel. In this video, I'm going to show you uh, the steps involved in uh, installing and running the Salome Mecca 2019 Linux version in Windows operating system. Uh, the reason I made this video is uh, my laptop uh, had to be reformatted. So I had to reinstall this uh, version on my laptop. So I thought I'll make a video so that uh, it can be useful for anybody who might be looking to install this. Uh, as as uh, anybody who has an experience with uh, Salome Mecca, uh, especially if you are using Windows uh, operating system, uh, it's not that uh, straightforward. So get let's get started. So here are the steps that uh, I have uh, kind of explained in the PowerPoint slide. So I have made this video in a slightly different way compared to the reg previous videos. Rather than a continuous video, here I'm going to show you uh, 10 steps and for each step there may be one or more than one slide and in each of those slides I will uh, show the screenshots of uh, what I have done because I have already installed it and uh, it is working so the steps that uh, uh, that are involved in doing that job so hopefully this will be helpful and you can skip to any step uh, like step by step pause the video and follow the steps to install it and uh, any links that I'm going to use are also going to be uh, provided in the comments below or the description below so let's get started so the first step is um, uh, download the, and install the oracle virtual machine so here is the link uh, you follow the link and you can download the oracle vm virtual box and uh, install it so this is pretty straightforward so once you install the virtual box um, you also need uh, a, an iso file for the ubuntu so this is going to be later used in the step four but you need to keep a copy of this file somewhere in your uh, in your pc so now step three uh, is to create a new virtual machine so the oracle vm virtual box that you have installed so open it and once you get it so go to the new button and uh, follow the steps that are there in the next uh, three slides to give all the options that are required for uh, defining this virtual machine so the first step is define a name and select the linux operating system i think it's automatically selected clever enough uh, uh, so, uh, software this is that you, the moment you type ubuntu it automatically selects these options then you define a memory depending upon your laptop or computer uh, size so the green is what is uh, allowed up to maximum value and you define a hard disk so you create a virtual hard disk now so these are all the default options so I generally keep the default option but increase the memory where it is applicable so define a hard disk file type as well then go to the uh, the option of the what what is a physical storage uh, hard disk so here I choose the again the default option of dynamically allocated value so you can see what it does compared to the fixed size so I prefer to I think it is recommended to use the dynamically allocated one so that uh, the share the size is um, dynamically allocated and then you define what size you want so I selected 80 gigabytes here once you do that then you come back to the option and you change some settings rather than straight away starting it you need to change some settings so that uh, it works so here when you click on the settings so you have all these options so out of this the general advanced option you select the clipboard clipboard option and uh, for the system you change or increase the cpu values and you adjust the execution uh, execution cap then you change the display option so display option here you increase the I increase the video memory and uh, I also increase the scale factor here which is uh, uh, which defines how your window of the virtual machine is going to be looking like and uh, here in this step here in the for the storage so in this option here I selected the ISO file that I downloaded earlier and here you just define uh, uh, a name or you have to uh, define a new name for it for the video file or VHD file uh, where the installation is going to be stored so now you do that once uh, you define all the settings so you can click on the button start and uh, it will uh, open up a new window and it will ask you to install Ubuntu as long as you selected the ISO file and the VDA files so you install the Ubuntu again uh, it, it will take some time to install the Ubuntu and download all the associated softwares in it again it is pretty straightforward and if you have any doubt on this you can check other videos uh, where uh, ubuntu installation is detailed in more detail but uh, i had no problem in installing so it is pretty straightforward once you install the ubuntu 
uh, what I suggest is to shut it down and uh, restart it. Uh, so when you restart it, make sure you remove the ISO file because otherwise it will keep on going to the boot option and asking you to install the Ubuntu software and again and again. So delete this, keep it empty and then start it. So it is same as the previous step but without the ISO file. Now once you get into the um, Ubuntu, now the next step is to download and install the Salomo Mecca 2019 software. So here is a link to download the um, ins automated installation script actually. So I prefer the version that is there at this location rather than going to the website and going to the Salomo Mecca and then uh, downloading the version because uh, I was not successful in uh, installing it earlier. So I choose this option where the scripts are provided so you can download this one and when you run this option using this command it automatically downloads and uh, uh, installs the Salama Mecca on the uh, on the Ubuntu soft Ubuntu so now so as you can see the, the window that you will get at the end of the installation is this so installation is complete and to run the application execute this so that is the default location I have not changed any location so the default location and that's where the file is so now go to that folder so the folder where that Salome file is there. So as you can see, if I list the file, so that Salome command is there. So I can run it by typing this command. And uh, once I do that, so the Salome Mecca is opened. So we have successfully, up to this step, we have successfully installed uh, the Salome Mecca uh, 2019 version. So I'm going to show you uh, the next step, which is adjusting the screen resolution because uh, uh, it, it took a bit of a while to get this sorted out. So these are the two steps that you need to do, uh, which is um, in the Ubuntu settings option, you need to change the scale factor or adjust the scale factor. And accordingly, you adjust the resolution in the Ubuntu by going to the screen display option. Um, so when you change this, then the display of the Ubuntu window depends on these two combination. And as you can see here, uh, this is a good window or good layout for me so that I can see all the commands and also I can see the options of the Ubuntu. Then the last step that I wanted to show you here is uh, after installing Salome Mecca just to make sure that it is running okay. So I prefer to run a test case and in this case open the Salome Mecca and click on the code aster option. So our aster study. Once aster study is open you can go to cap operations and import a test case. And uh, in this case, I have chosen this one, which is uh, an elastic buckling of an angle. Uh, and the link of the PDF is here, which explains that problem. And also, if you want to know more about the test cases, you can go to this link. So when you import a test case, it is going to give you a few warnings. So the first warning that requires your attention is this undefined files. This is to do with the output files, as you can see here. And there are other warnings that uh, you don't have to worry about because these are all the warnings that are related to uh, the Codaster uh, commands, old and the new commands. Um, so here, what I have done in this particular case is I there are two output files defined in the test case. So I have deleted, uh, what I have done is I have deleted one file and kept, or kept only one output file and uh, used the result option mode one uh, for the purpose of just checking the result that whether it is running all right or not. So as you can see here, just the data settings, these are all the options that are there. And you can see the output one output here and the other output two here, which are all defined, where you can go and delete this output and keep this output and edit it to mode one. So once you do that, this red uh, option that is there will, will go away in this option when you select it. Now once you do that, then you can go to the save the HDF file, make sure you save the file because without saving it you can't run it. Then go to the history view, select the current case and increase the RAM uh, because for having a low RAM it probably doesn't run. Then select the file here and click on the option and run it. So once you run it, hopefully if everything is done correctly, then you should get a green uh, result here. So the, it, And you can see the output by selecting the data file summary and going to the directory and opening the results and as you can see here the mode 1 um, uh, frequency is given here and the value as per the documentation is uh, the, or the calculated analytical value is this with an error of that. So that validates that uh, the analysis or the, the result is obtained correctly. 
so that's all i wanted to show in this video and hopefully you have uh, it helps you to install the, the steps uh, uh, that are required to install salome mecca thanks for watching